Hello, my beautiful loves. Let's see what we have here for my beautiful Tauruses. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So let's go ahead and shuffle up here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my beautiful Tauruses. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Okay. So we have the Sun in the reverse. Leo energy and we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy we have the Seven of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Cups Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Taurus please we have the Moon Cancer Piscean energy and we've got the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Under the deck, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We've got the Six of Cups, and we have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Okay, so Taurus, let's see here. Taurus, I feel like there's a situation here where someone perhaps is not showing how they feel about something from the past. Um, because with the Seven of Pentacles right here, this person is literally facing the past position. With the Sun card in the reverse, that's someone not showing their true feelings and their emotions with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. I feel that with the Ace of Cups here, um, somebody here perhaps has gotten themselves into a new love relationship. Uh, but with the Moon card and the Knight of Wands here, someone here may may secretly still be um, talking to somebody else or pursuing somebody else, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles, um, I feel here that there is a, a slow and steady uh, movement away from this ex. Like someone's trying to con disconnect from the past and free themselves from the past. Queen of Swords under the deck. Oh no, 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 excuse me. Yeah, Queen of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. This is the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like someone here moves along every day portraying the illusion that they have disconnected from somebody from the past. I feel, Taurus, that with the Six of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles, I feel that, you know, especially with the Ten of Wands here and the Eight of Swords, I feel like someone here would like to reconcile with the past, would like to make the past work, but they're presenting themselves in, in, a, in a facade, in a facial manner, like, to the world of, I don't care. Okay, so someone here is not showing their true colors, Taurus. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus, please. Tell me about the sun card in the reverse, please. Sun card in the reverse, please. We've got the ten of swords in the reverse. Tell me about the queen of cups in the reverse, please. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. So again, Taurus, there's this energy here of something's not over. For somebody here, there is still remaining feeling. Someone here is still nostalgic. They miss somebody. 
Yeah, they miss somebody. With the Three of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Pentacles, um, this could be an energy of the tables turning on somebody. Maybe somebody here was not honest about their feelings. And now, you know, somebody has went off and started something new, and the person that was still in love has to kind of sit with that. Um, with the Moon card and the Three of Pentacles, I feel like somebody here never expressed the fact that they really would like to make things work in this connection. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles here for Taurus. Seven of Swords. Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles and Seven of Swords, please. So we've got the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles under the deck again. I feel here, Taurus, that somebody comes off as a very committed partner. Somebody that works hard on their relationship. But there is a sense of lying, deception, or cheating here because somebody is still looking up the past or pursuing the past or talking to the past. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, please. We've got the Nine of Swords. I feel like... I feel like someone here has a lot of sorrow over this new love situation. Tell me about this Nine of Swords and this Ace of Cups, please. Yep, we got the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy. Someone here is keeping a secret. Someone here has gotten themselves into a new love situation, but they are still pining for a past person. Tell me about the Moon here, please. We've got the Four of Pentacles. Someone here is not expressing this. They are keeping it to themselves. Um, the Knight of Wands and the Justice card. Libra energy. Interesting. Because we have the Queen of Swords here again. We've got the Death card. We've got the Five of Swords, the Seven of Cups. We've got the Page of Wands, the Six of Cups, and we have the Tower. So I feel here that there is an ex that is coming in out of nowhere, kind of like a crazy person almost, um, wanting to come in, wanting to communicate, wanting to stir up drama here. Uh, but I feel like this connection is over. They're going to be met with a very cold uh, demeanor here. Tell me about the Knight of Wands and the Justice card. Tell me about the Knight of Wands and the Justice card and the Magician Virgo Gemini energy um, and the Five of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. I feel, Taurus, that somebody keeps this to themselves for a very long time until finally they just go and they decide one day to pursue what they want, which is what the Knight of Wands does, right? Um, with the Justice card, maybe someone here wants to apologize or they feel that it's only right that their ex knows that, hey, listen, I wanted to work things out with you, okay? Um, this is someone that I feel that you're not talking to, you don't have communication with, and with the Ace of Wands, Communication is coming in. Communication is coming in. Um, tell me about the Knight of Pentacles here for Taurus. We've got the Four of Cups. I feel like someone here is going to say, I have been unhappy for a very long time. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. We've got the King of Wands and the Ten of Wands. I'm tired of giving the illusion that I'm okay. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles, please. And the Three of Cups. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. 
and the chariot. I feel like someone here is deciding to be single, wanting to reconcile, wanting to come forward, wanting to apologize. But I don't feel like this person is going to be met with open arms because we've got the Six of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about this Queen of Swords energy. What is this Queen of Swords energy going to do? Yep, Two of Swords and the Devil Capricorn energy. So first of all, it's a major shock for the person that is receiving this information but someone here is going to cut it off or cut it out because um, they see this connection as toxic possibly yeah, or it could be here, guys, that someone here is married or in a relationship and they're going to say, I'm sorry, this is over. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, this is over. Um, with the paid, I'm sorry, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant there, Taurus energy, um, there is someone here that it would appear is getting married or is in a very, very, very high level of commitment. Um, so this is going to come like out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? This is going to come out of nowhere. Um, so I feel like there is someone here that's saying, you know what? It's only right that I let them know that I want to make this work again. So they go and they open up their heart and they say, listen, I, I know maybe it's too late. Maybe it's not. But you should know before you move on with this new connection that I want things to work. And I don't feel like the person doing this is going to be met with open arms. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus, please. Okay. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life and healing family issues. So I feel like there was something here that was kind of toxic. And someone here is freeing themselves from it and healing from it. Um... It could also be that someone here has been addicted to someone, like someone here has been in love with someone for a long time, not showing it, okay, and now someone needs to free themselves from that and heal from it because obviously it's not coming back together again. Um, this could also be an energy of someone cutting out this person that is still in love and coming back around and moving towards a new relationship that's more committed, okay? So this could be a representation of both people, all right? One person would be the person that, you know, is a little obsessive over the past and can't let the past go. And the other person would be, you know, the person that's moving forward, cutting out the past. Okay. All right, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed. I love you so very much and I'll see you soon. Bye, my loves.